my finish feels so uncoordinated. I was actually thinking like, this is a great way to focus on the fundamentals of a left hand finish because like, since my left hand is good for like behind the back, I was kind of thinking, man, like maybe I, maybe I have a good left hand now, but even on something in fundamentals that seems to really work on it. I'm gonna try nine three. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I feel like I'm going through the motions a little bit with these finishes. It's one of the easiest things to do when you don't feel confident with the dunk. And it's not like going through the motions in the sense of your intensity, but like, especially with the dunk finish, like you need to be trying to slam it. It sounds so simple, but I forget it. I've been, I've been doing this for like four years, right? Like, oh, better. Yeah, so for reference, I can offer it on 10 with my right hand. I just find it so funny how much the finishes can change it up. I'll show you a right hand right now to, uh, to see the difference. It's just, it's so much, I just feel so much more confident. It transfers to the jump too. The finish really transfers to the jump. Yes. Wow. And every once in a while I miss a dunk you know, like an easy dunk. I'm just like, there's no way I'm becoming a pro dunker. This is crazy. And then usually the next rep I lock in, I'm like, if I don't make this, there's no way. There we go. Oh, all right. I really like five makes. I'm doing distance dunks on nine off one. Woo. Oh. Oh. <laughs> there we go. This dunk count ball is a little better for palming. Oh. I lost my palm a little bit. I wonder how the distance was on that. Yeah, the distance is okay, but I want to keep it further out. Solid. Yeah, that one was solid. I'll try 9-6. Nice. I felt decent. I felt decent. Let me take a peek. I feel like that distance was better than some of the 9-4 ones. It's super encouraging. I guess 9-8 then. Also, forgot to mention, because my driveway is sloped down, uh, this is like the hardest dunk I can do, uh, rim, rim height wise. I think this like, especially because I'm jumping from distance off one, I think this 9-8 might be more like 9-10. Uh, I've measured the slope before and, and I use that for the rim heights, but like, uh, that's just accommodated for if I'm jumping like in the area, but if I'm jumping like behind this line, it's gotta be, it's gotta be a change. Oh, I thought I made it. Wow. All right. Oh, another one of those types of misses. No, <laughs> these misses are hilarious. Oh. Oh, I lost the ball. There it is. Awesome. Awesome. All right, this is like seven feet. Just gonna do some 360 space.
Okay, that was the last double of eight sets of doubles at 275. Holy, that was a lot, man. That was a lot. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna be taking a mini deload. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna take like three or four days off in anticipation of the next block to be a very long block leading up to Dunk Camp. Uh, Dunk Camp's my big event, biggest event of the year. Uh, it's, it's like a convention kind of where about a hundred amateur dunkers and like 10, 10 or 20 pro dunkers are all in the same place at one time. We do a lot of dunking. <laughs> So yeah, to be honest, I don't really know what direction I wanna go in training. I know I mentioned, I mentioned some goals last video, but as far as like writing the actual training, um, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's like a little bit of writer's block or uh, I've known for the last four years what I wanna do with my training, but yeah, it's also because like in July and August, I guess I'm just gonna stay peaked to jump, but then it's just kind of like maintenance. Yeah, I just, uh, it, it'll be interesting to see what I come up with. Last word for today is gonna be Reebok.